Are you considering renting from Water Song Villas? Here are some things to look out for. 1. If you come home later than 6 p.m., you will have issues with parking. There is a good chance that you might have to drive around for 5, 10, 15, or even 20 minutes, and more before you see someone, leave, and you take their spot. Sometimes, you may never be so lucky, and would have to park across the street at the risk of being vandalized, or towed away. Parking at Water Song Villas, is that bad? When I first moved in, I used to see residents walking in from across, the street logging grocery bags. I thought they didn't have transportation, but later found out they had nowhere to park inside the complex. 2. If you have family that may want to visit, visitors permit is on a daily basis, but you can buy one for $50 per month. Water Song Villas take parking enforcement very serious, not minding that they do not have adequate parking for their residents. They have contracted with tow companies to enforce their parking rules. It is a common thing to see tow trucks driving around the complex and picking up cars for violating parking rules. For instance, if you forgot to get a new sticker when your old one expires, even if you are parked in your paid parking spot, your car will be towed away, no exceptions. My suspicion is that it might be a revenue share thing, I don't know. To see how bad parking is here, you might want to visit the complex at night and see it for yourself. 3. Next to parking problem is laxed maintenance. For about two years, I have had leaking roof. I have submitted maintenance requests by email, by phone and in person. As I write this review, the problem is still not addressed. What they did was board up the main area where it leaks so the roof doesn't cave in. I also had a burnt out fluorescent to bin, the kitchen, and that took more than a year to replace in spite of repeated requests. There seems to be an ongoing hot water maintenance going on here. You could be cooking or taking a shower, and they shut off the hot water. This used to happen like to times, or more a week, it is less frequent now. The problem though is that they never give you any notice about these shutdown, they just do it. 4. Rent used to be paid at the office. Now they require you to go to PLS to pay rent, that's not a big deal. The problem is that you have to go withdraw the cash first, and pay a $4 fee to PLS. And if you used your debit card, the fee is $36. Now here is that one little thing I like about Water Song Villas. It is a small complex. And I like that. And that was the reason why I came here in the first place. So that is my honest review of Water Song Villas based on my experience. Here. And now you know. My recommendation is think again.